How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this little toy gun that shoots out bills. It can shoot out the fake bills or you can put your real money in and shoot it out. Personally, I've been kind of curious. You know it's going to shoot money out, but I just kind of, I don't know, just, just play with it a little bit, I guess. Nothing else inside. It comes with two sets of stickers, one set super gun. It comes with 100, $100 bills. The real bill feels a little bit warmer and it feels a little bit thicker too. This is a little bit smoother and thinner. Here's the edges of it. It's not made out of cotton, it's just made out of paper. And then on the left side, you can see all this Chinese words written on it to indicate that it's actually fake. The back also has a print on it and then also has another thing. I think this is just to meet regulations to show people that these are fake bills. The top of it right here, it doesn't come off easily. You have to kind of like push it this way and open it up. And if you want to put it back in, it doesn't really just lock. You got to like push it to the side, put pressure on this, pull it down and then it'll go in and it'll lock in place. This is like a little rubber piece and it's quite soft actually. And it seems like they didn't even bother to cover this out when they painted this gold. I chose a gold color one and this is not actually shiny type of gold. It's like a matte type of gold. The battery compartment is over here. I guess you just you know, kind of pull this out. And this reveals that the plastic is actually red. And then they just decided, oh, let's just have a gold color and paint it over this. So let me get some batteries. Batteries not included. Okay. And it's a simple operation. You just pull the trigger here. It feels like there's like a little push button inside of this thing. All right, put a few bills in here. So I feel obligated to do a slow motion here. shoot the money most likely you are the one that's gonna pick up these bills unless you really are really really rich and you hire someone to come after you these are fake $100 all right fake if you are OCD and you want them all to face the same way it's gonna take you forever but if you're a little less OCD you can just put them together you know it'll face whichever way and it'll take a little bit quicker in terms of uh, cleaning up got all of them I think Oh, no. One over there. Now I got all of them. I have some bills over here. How many? About 13 bills over here. Let's check this out. So it goes pretty quickly. You need like 100 bills over here. So I'm thinking I should go to the bank and pick up some dollar bills or something. So let's go. I am at the bank. This is the first time I ever try to withdraw a hundred bills. I don't even know if you can do that. Do they charge for this? And can you ask for new ones? I probably cannot record in the bank. They probably don't like that very much, so. Oh, why is it? Is it closed? Closed today, 11. Well, even if it's closed, I might be able to use the ATM. Let's see if the ATM can give me a hundred ones. Get cash. It won't let me withdraw 101, so there's five. So let's see if I can do 500. All right. <laughs> Premier is it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Will it, is it going to do it? That's interesting. This is quite interesting. 
Ooh. Wow, look at that. This is kind of fun. I've never held that many bills all at once before. I know this might be weird for people who have held it before, but this is my first time. It's kind of interesting. Look at it. It's in my pocket. Can you see it? There. I wonder if I should count it. Like, I can't really count it. Like, in broad daylight, I feel like. I gotta bring it home first. I feel nervous already. Get back on this. There they are. Real $5 bills. 100 of them. You know, this smells like... This smells like Chinese New Year. Because usually... In Chinese New Year, parents like to get new bills and then whenever you get them in those red envelopes, when you open them, it smells just like this. It smells like cash. You guys, you know, you know what like new cash smells like? It It actually smells, uh, smells like money. Anyway, let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, really, 500, 105 dollar bills, 500 dollars, it's correct. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 bills. 100 Lincolns. Here are the bills again, I counted them, it turns out I was missing four of them. They were just scattered all over the place, so there are exactly 100 of them. I did recount them. 100 fake bills, 74 grams. 100 real 5 dollar bills. 98 grams. So it's about 24 grams heavier than the fake ones. That's interesting because I mean I kind of instinctively knew that because I was like this is kind of kind of light. Let's look at the thickness. 8.39 millimeters. 11.07. 2.7 millimeters thicker. 10.6. 10.6, 10.6. If I squeeze around this part where it's darker, I can definitely feel it's thicker. If I feel around this part where there's not much black printing, it's thinner quite a bit. I don't know if you can see. You see that indentation right there, right? That's how much different the thickness is. Let me try and measure it from the side here because the ink is not that thick over here. So measuring it right in the middle from the side, 9.37. And then right here where the ink is thick, 10.96. So from that difference, you can probably figure out how much thicker the ink is for each bill. Let's shove them in here. Is it stuck? I think it's best if I just have them face down because they're curved down a little bit. If they're curved up, it just gets kind of caught over there. That should work better. No? Again, floor full of $5 bills. This is actually a really low cost way to spend time. Although this stack of cash costs $500, it's not like I'm actually spending it, right? After I am done with this, I'm gonna put it back into my bank and I would have spent $0. But if you guys are interested in this thing, of course, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. What? I'm just picking up bills because I, I, I dropped them with the gun that I shot myself on purpose. Whenever you shoot stuff, you tend to lose the ammo, right? In this case, it's gonna be like a $5 bill that, that's like shoved in between somewhere that you can never find again. I hope I don't lose them. <laughs> Smells like Chinese New Year. Smells like cash. Like fresh cash, not like, you know, the, the worn out, worn out cash smells kind of weird.
I'm kind of curious what's inside this thing. So I'm, there's a whole bunch of screws over here. I'm going to open it up and then we can all see what's inside. Yep. Three of them is missing. This pile only has seven fives in it. Oh, okay. Here's one. Two of them is missing. Nothing under here. Oh, that's dangerous right there. Look, there's another one. <laughs> is there more in there? I found the other one. Just random right here. All right, I think I got all of them. This little rubber thing, it touches the bill and it pulls it out. If you have another bill on top of this, the bills are not sticking together. So it's going to get pulled out first. When the bill is finally out, then the wheel over here will finally touch the second bill and start drawing it out like that. And it seems to work better when there's slight pressure on here given by this little lid thing. So if you have this lid on there, it works a little bit better than not. But it seems like it's working right now a little bit. See right now the bill is caught right here because the bill kind of, it's slanted upwards. So it can't come out of that exit hole. I'm gonna proceed to open this thing up. There's a DC motor here and one gear reduction. Pretty simple thing where the switch just connects the battery power to the motor. Okay, here we go. So that's it for the review of this money gun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If this is something you would get. Push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.